Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Well, today I have a review for you on this piece. This is the Bandai Star Wars X-Wing Fighter. This is from the latest Star Wars movie, The Rise of Skywalker. It was really fun. I had a good time with this one, and uh, I got a lot to say about it. So here we go. Here is the finished piece. Now, as you can see, I did some pin washes on it. I did some... Uh, some chipping there on the nose, a couple places here on the wings. Uh, this was fun. I had a really good time with it. This Bandai is a snap fit kit and it is precision. It is precise. It is tight. Now, if you've been watching the channel for some period of time, you know I did a piece on this, a video on this where I shared about a mistake I made. These X-Wings here, there is a way they definitely go together, and there's only one right way. I had the pieces flipped. In other words, the top piece was on the bottom, the bottom piece was on the top, and somehow I had it twisted in such a way that this body would not go together. This fuselage here would not go together right. And at first I thought I've been bragging on how precision this kit is, and now I'm having a problem with it, but the problem was with the builder. I did not look at something properly, and that was the reason it wasn't fitting. I woke up with the idea to flip it around, and when I flipped it around, this thing went together like butter. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. It came out really nicely. I am really happy with the way this thing came together. There was only one issue I had with it, and that was right here in the canopy. You have two options. There is a clear plastic piece, and there is this nice uh, canopy frame, right? And I thought, no problem, the canopy frame goes over the glass. No, you have your choice. You can put the canopy frame in, or you can put the glass in. So I went with option three, which was I found myself a little, uh, a little plastic box, where I could cut the individual panels and glue them in here. And I have to be honest, it did not work. And there's a reason for that. Remember I said how precision this was and how precisely these pieces fit? Well, this was so precisely fit together that when I put those thin little pieces of plastic in here on these windows, the canopy wouldn't go down. And so I had a choice. I could either go with that clear canopy or I could do this. So I thought, well, I'll take the stickers because this thing came with decals and stickers. I'll take the stickers and put them on that clear canopy. And I didn't like how it looked and I couldn't get it to line up right. And so I thought, I'm just putting this framework back on without the glass. And I thought, you know, I mean, I'm not going to win a contest with this anyway. I'm not going to put it in a contest. I'm building this for myself. And so I thought, I'll be all right. It's not a big deal. But then I noticed something. And again, I'm not entering this in a contest. It's not that. But on one of my model building groups online, they had this thing on there that said, according to IPMS judging, International Plastic Model Society, yes, that's a thing, uh, according to IPMS judging guidelines, having it without the glass was right. Not because this thing could fly through space with a living pilot without the glass. That, that's not the case. No, the issue is the models that they used in the Star Wars movies, evidently, they didn't put the glass in. Probably because of dealing with reflection for photography. And so I found out that it's actually correct to not have the glass in, at least according to IPMS guidelines. So I pulled the clear plastic that I put in back out and then the piece would fit back on. I will admit I cracked it a little bit getting something out, but it went together nicely. I had a good time with it. Like I say, I did, I did some techniques that I really haven't done much with before. I did some pin washes in here and all these little uh, the panel lines and things like that. I did more chipping. I've done chipping before, but I tried to really kind of nail it down here. I, I used the box art as my model. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, you can. Uh, there's quite a bit of chipping on that nose. And so I did some chipping on the nose and did some chipping on the wing tips. The one thing that I did that uh, I did a lot of painting on this. I painted all the pieces 
And not only that, but they had decals on for these silver patches on the wings. I just hand painted those and I, I had a good time with it. My goal with this was to make it look like it had been in quite a few battles. I wanted it to be dirty. I wanted it to have, you know, panel lines and everything else. And uh, man, it was fun. I had a good time with this. Like I say, once I figured out how to get those X-Wings right, uh, that was that was a big challenge, but it was my fault. It wasn't the fault of the kit. This thing is precision. This is just a tight model kit. Again, I use no glue on it. There's no glue on this. This is all snapped together. The pieces are tight. There's I didn't really need to even think about filling seams because they were smart enough that they made it that the lines in the individual pieces basically ride where the panel lines would be. Some slick stuff. This was a really well put together kit and I had a really good time with it. And that's good because as you know, model building is supposed to be fun. So I'm going to go over here and start going pew, pew, pew. No, <laughs> but seriously, guys, a lot of fun on these. Um, got this one for Christmas from my wife. I am so grateful for it. I love that she buys me models. And uh, if you get a chance to put one of these together, they're fun. They go together fairly easily if you follow the directions. Um, the one thing I noticed <laughs> that I never noticed before, and I love Star Wars, but I'm of the opinion that this would never work in the real world. Because if you look in here, these look like jet turbines. Now, what's the problem with half a jet turbine? What do jet turbines do? They spin. These really should be round. They shouldn't be half. But you know what? <laughs> it worked just fine in the movie, and it's not a real piece. And so I had a great time with it. I think you will too. Pick one up today. Take care. Have a great day. God bless.